I was looking through my old videos and I just happened upon this comments section where these two folks, Bonnie Gale and John 14.6, are talking about whether the bigs are, well, she, Bonnie says they just have uh, incredible capability, different capabilities, uh, higher evolved than us, which I agree with. Um, however, I don't agree with interacting with these creatures as playing with fire, like playing with fire. Nah. Incorrect. And spoken from someone who interacted with them and still does uh, many, many years. Okay. And I'm a very, you know, I'm a man of faith, pray constantly, and I'm, I feel like, you know, very close to Father in Heaven and His Son Jesus and all these things. And uh, anyway, I could tell you that they're not. Nephilim, that's what John says here, and he quotes all kinds of things, and what, you know, first of all, when I was praying one one day, I asked, you know, I asked the Father, I said, who are these beings, and, you know, I just happened to think about them these days, I said, what, what are they, I mean, you know, I, I just don't understand, they're able to do all these things that we can't, and yet they're flesh and blood. And I was given there the transcendence. Now I had to go back and look this up because I didn't know what it meant. So that should tell you it didn't. It wasn't just my imagination. If I could get rid of this there, <clears throat> transcend is exceeding usual limits. If you guys have watched my videos in the past, I've talked about this, extending or lying beyond the limits of ordinary experience, and for sure that's what they are beyond comprehension. That's definitely. You know, anyway, all these things they are. Uh, when I was out there in this same spot, in fact, where I was praying, but another time, I sat there and I had a couple trees in front of me. It was just a wonderful spot to pray. Just a little church next to it. Just a, a really cool, powerful, great energy spot. I, I really love this area. Anyway, sitting there and uh, all of a sudden, you know, I was just, sitting there and a couple trees literally about maybe eight or ten feet in front of me something comes out it was a translucent being I mean lit, uh, what I could see is a very large area where it was almost like watery where it, would, it was just blurry in that one spot um, not exactly like this but you know this is just what I'm using as the uh, image so it came out like that stood there went over here and came back out and then disappeared um, <clears throat> I feel like that was the the bigs and you know certainly I was having stuff go on before and after this too you know that that's, would be big related so are they the Nephilim <laughs> absolutely not I mean if you read about the Nephilim and and all these things, the only correlation that they make is they were giants. Well, I mean, that's kind of, in my opinion, that's just foolish. Uh, yeah, they, these guys are large, but uh, actuality, they say the, the Nephilim, we were like grasshoppers to them. Grasshopper is basically, you're at their feet. You're literally tiny. Okay, that's the first thing. Never mentions anything about them being hairy, although, uh, you know, Esau, they described it quite well that he was hairy okay, and I believe that was a uh, an analogy or a metaphorical story uh, of the bigs and us and how Jacob was conniving and chose the world and we and Esau chose the force and the natural elements and he was an honest man you know so uh, anyway that's who I think they are um, with whatever capabilities they have or knowledge to do the things they do and and uh, master physics like they do I don't know uh, but there's never any mention of the uh, the Nephilim being these giant hairy folks that you know I would think that they would mention something about them moving with great speeds or you know all the things the bigs do there's no, never any mention of that just evil uh, wicked things being done regularly by you know most of them and uh, not just one or two of them and if that were the case I think we'd have mayhem in this world so no 
I don't think they're the Nephilim, and there's so much more that I experience out there that I could get into, but I'm trying to keep this video short. You guys take care.